Hello, this is Dominica with Easynomics, and we're going to do another PED calculation on an elastic demand curve. This is uh, a continuation from a previous video, uh, which will be linked at the end of this video. Um, in that previous video, we were using Coca-Cola as the example being applied and looking at change in price and its impact on total revenue and what the PED value would be. We would expect Coca-Cola to have a very elastic demand curve due to the availability of so many substitutes like its competitor, Pepsi. So uh, continuing from using some of the data from that previous video, here we have Graph A, the global daily market for bottles of Coca-Cola. And we have our price me measured on the y-axis and the quantity on the x-axis, we have our downward sloping demand curve labeled D1 equal to the marginal benefit. And we have a price uh, set at $1.06 per bottle or P1 with a quantity of consumption of Q1 or 1.2 billion units on a daily basis. And then we have our lowered price at 92 cents at P2 with a quantity demanded at 0.9 billion per day being the quantity demanded at Q2. Um, so this video, is going to focus on reducing price. The previous video was looking at an increase in price. And uh, as we lower price from $1.06 to $0.92, cents, according to the law of demand, we would expect an increase in the quantity of consumption, in this case from $1.2 billion to $1.9 billion, which is a movement along our demand curve. So again, this scenario being scenario number two, the previous one being scenario number one, we're looking at an elastic demand curve and we're going to decrease price and calculate PED. So here we have price data and quantity data and we can calculate that. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and then we'll get into the total revenue. Um, so price elasticity of demand is a formula. It's equal to the percent change in the quantity demanded divided by the percent change in price. And we're going to remember that the percent change as a formula is equal to the final value minus the initial value divided by the initial value times 100. So here we can apply that. We're, uh, we're raising price. This is the initial quantity, our final quantity, our initial price, our final price. So we can plug those numbers in. One point 9 billion minus 1.2 billion divided by 1.2 billion multiplied by 100. That will all be divided by the change in price. And that's going to be 92 cents minus the initial of one dollar and six cents divided by the initial of a dollar and six cents multiplied by 100. So when we work that out, we'll see here that 1.9 minus 1.2, that is 0 0.7 billion, B for billion, over 1.2, B for billion. And that's going to work out to 0 0.583 repeating, and we'll come back to that. We have to multiply that by 100. We'll come back to that. And that's going to be divided by 92 cents minus a dollar and six cents. So that's negative 0 0.14 divided by a dollar and six cents. That's going to work out to negative 0 0.132 multiplied by 100. Okay. So what does that work out to? PED, if we look at this, is equal to, if we multiply 0.583 repeating by 100, that is 50. 8.3 repeating percent change in the quantity of consumption as a result of 0 0.132, etc., multiplied by 100. That works out to negative 13.21% decrease 
in price. And if we divide these values, that equals negative 4.42. So PED is equal to negative 4.2. PED equal to, let's look at the absolute value, 4.42. Again, PED is greater than 1. So it is elastic. And this value means that every time we increase price by 1%, we lose 4.42% of our consumers. Any change in price by 1% will lead to a change of 4.42% in the consumption side or the quantity of demand side. And again, it holds that if PED is greater than 1, it's expected that if we were to lower price, total revenue would fall. And if let's see if that is the case. So we can label these areas A, B, and C in our initial total revenue. Call that TR1 is equal to P1 times Q1. P1 times Q1 is equal to areas A plus B. And that equals the price of a dollar 106 multiplied by 1.2 billion B for billion and that equals 1.272 billion dollars and then we uh, lower the price total revenue I'm sorry and this is a big mistake let me go back I was thinking of the inelastic so when price falls total revenue should rise okay please note that as price falls total revenue should rise if the demand curve is elastic so when we look at our new total revenue tr2 which is equal to the new price p2 times q2 which is equal to areas b plus c we're going to take that price of 92 cents times 1.9 billion and that works out to 1.748 billion. Okay, so here we can clearly see that total revenue to 1.2 billion, right? This area here is less than the new total revenue at 1.7. So it holds as we lower price along an elastic demand curve, the total revenue will rise. Okay, and uh, that's it. If you have any questions, you can comment those questions. And don't forget to subscribe and to like. Thank you so much.